dialed in. They were really skittish. Every little movement that we made, they were jumping. Kind of had us pegged down a few times. Hey guys, my name is Sarah Gamash. It's December 13th and I'm at home right now getting ready to head out to the airport. Gonna fly into San Antonio and go to Head Springs Ranch and meet up with Kurt and some other people that I'm friends with that we put a hunting group together. And we're gonna go shoot some whitetail, some access deer, hopefully some hogs. And I'm really looking forward to it. This is my fourth time going to the ranch this year. It's an amazing place amazing people and I always have a great time. So I'm excited that Kurt just joined my group. He reached out to me the other day when I had a cancellation and said, heck yeah, I want to go on this. It sounds like a blast. So looking forward to sharing some stories with you guys and hopefully getting some animals on the ground. We're rolling. Yeah. Guys, welcome back to Western Obsessions TV. Obsessions, Obsessions, Western's Obsessions. Welcome back, Western Obsessions TV. We are in Texas, it's December. And I don't know what I was thinking, but uh, I thought Texas was going to be warmer in December. It's going to be 26 degrees tomorrow morning. I brought all my light gear. My camera guy's got all, Reese's got light gear. Ian's got light gear. We're going to freeze our butt off tomorrow. But we're here in Texas. I'm hunting Axis deer with, with our friend Sarah. I think she's going to be hunting white tail tomorrow, right, Ian? Yes, white tail tomorrow. And we're off on another adventure. So I want to bring you guys with me. Why don't you guys come with me on this adventure? Come on, I'm going to put you in my backpack. We're going right down in here. <laughs> Morning. Here we are in Texas with our friend Sarah. Sarah, you're hunting whitetail? Yeah, I'll be hunting whitetail, maybe some access doe. We'll see what comes in. So last time I was here in October, it got this cold, which was, I think they said, the coldest they've ever been. So this is, I guess I just bring the cold weather with me. And last time there was deer that were freezing to the ground. It was so cold. So I'm, I'm more, yeah, we, there was a huge buck that was just frozen solid to the ground last time. So I was more prepared this time. So I got extra cold weather gear from Badlands. So I'm hoping it's going to do the trick, but we'll see. They say that the Texas cold is different than probably what I'm used to in Washington. So... back to the lodge this morning and just saw some rams at one of the feeders 
So we just got out, attempted to do a spot and stock. There were four really nice ones. Couldn't close the distance. We got about 40, 50 yards, but they kind of knew we were here, so they spooked and took off. So we're gonna call it a day for the morning hunt. Um, there were quite a few animals in this morning in the stand, but no bucks, and that's what we were looking for. So lots of access, lots of fallow, but no white tail bucks this morning. So we're gonna go back to the lodge, have some breakfast, talk to the other guys, see what they saw this morning, and then we'll do a evening hunt and see how it goes. Guys, it's midday of day one, and I thought I'd come out and actually, I'm just kind of bored, <laughs> so I thought I'd come out and just shoot a little bit. Got a block out here, so hey, better be safe than sorry, right? Take your shots, make sure you're not going to wound an animal. So, come out here, take a couple shots, kill some time, get ready for the sit number two tonight. Kind of getting excited. I want to see a nice big axis buck come in tonight. I'm ready to pull the trigger. All right, guys, sit number two here in Texas. Um, we're shooting a little bit. Sarah's getting dialed in. She doesn't need to. She's pretty dialed in. We'll see. But uh, sit number two, still whitetail? Or did you change Yeah, that? no, I'm gonna be whitetail. Okay. We're hoping that it's gonna be as good as the morning. The morning was good because it was really cold. So the animals came in early and it was great. We had a lot of animals on our stand. So we're hoping the evening it's not gonna be as cold, but we're hoping we still get good activity. Yeah. So. It's going to chill down once that sun goes down. It will. Down. When the sun goes down, it's yeah. kind of cold. But yeah, hopefully we get some running through. I'm hoping for a big axis buck. She wants a big white Which tail buck. Which I saw one this morning at I my know. stand. You should have tied him up. I know. But uh, stay tuned. Hopefully it won't freeze her butt off like it did this morning. Yeah. I literally got out of the stand and did 100 air squats. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. <laughs> I couldn't get out because I was frozen in the chair. <laughs> All right, guys. Stay tuned. We can just, we're going to head out? Yeah. Okay. All right, up there which is actually on my list of things I want to shoot so we don't want to spook them but maybe see if we can try to do a spot and stock and get within range these guys are really sketchy so it's gonna be hard but we're gonna give it a try and see what happens <laughs>
probably you're probably like, why aren't you shooting it? It was because of that branch. <laughs> yeah, right there. I, I figured it was from the top. It wasn't yeah, it was going through. through. Good luck, you guys. She ducked the arrow. Is that really? That's what happened, yeah. She ducked bad. Yeah. <laughs> you don't film me falling out of this tree stand, but <laughs> you don't film me. Okay, so we had a rough morning in the stand because <clears throat> there was a bunch of doe coming in that I was going to try to get a shot at, and they were just so on edge. I think I tried to pull back at least 10 different times, and they were pretty close to us. They were like 15, 20 yards, so they just kept knowing that we were there, hearing us, whatever. So they kept spooking, and I was starting to lose hope because we have been about two hours into it, and I still had yet to get a shot off. And then finally, a doe came in, and I took my time and she, she wasn't really paying attention and so I got drawn back on her. I shot, she ducked, I thought she ducked the arrow. Like I was like, dang it, like she just completely hit the ground. So I was like, figures, that's my luck. I've shot at doe before and that happens almost every time. So we got down from the stand and we came to get my arrow and here's my arrow. <laughs> and <clears throat> lo and behold, it's covered in blood all the way through to the fletchings. So then we're like, well, I guess I didn't miss her. We gotta look for blood. And I turn and I look over there and I see her laying over there. <laughs> so I was way off on thinking that I missed her. So we're gonna walk up to her. We haven't even gone up to her yet. So we're gonna go see um, what type of shot I had, but it looks like there's a bunch of blood over here. Nope, got her in the neck. <laughs> right through that artery right there. I know, that's why I was telling her that I'm more excited about getting a doe than I am a buck because these are harder to shoot. <laughs> I mean, wait till you see the footage. She almost flattened all the way out like that access Did she? doe to the ground, yeah. And she was at 22 yards. Yeah. So. All right, midday here, day two. Day two here in Texas, we are going to go out and see if we can do some spot and stock. And uh, from what Cody says here, it's really easy to spot and stock access deer. Oh yeah, they like standing around. Yeah, they just look at you. They're right? like mule deer. <laughs> yeah, real dumb. So we're going to give it a shot, see how it goes. You can't tell that with sarcasm. Why not exactly where they're at? Yeah, yeah. And then we'll go. I was 
get back and send you guys two in. So you just gotta watch your does. chasing around this fallow buck but uh he keeps giving us a slip so i kind of feel like we're just chasing her tail a little bit um we'll drive around see if we can't find something bedded i like that odds a lot better and if not we'll sit up this afternoon and maybe one of them will come in we'll see filming and hunting. Oh, I know. It'd be easy if it was just me, easier. Yeah. But we gotta hide, we gotta three, hide guys. three guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we spotted a chocolate fallow deer up here. Looks pretty nice, so we're gonna bring everybody a nice <laughs> big old stock on him and see nice. if we can get close. Right, Cody? That's right. That's yeah. right. Just gotta keep his does mm -hmm. in mind. See Ian, I need you to go over there and keep the does busy. Yeah. All right? Can you do something to keep those does busy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go see what we can get done. Here we are, day two evening, Texas hunt, and I've switched my mind a little bit. We, uh, I started out hunting axis deer, and this afternoon we decided to do a spot and stock fallow hunt. Found a nice big buck bedded, and um, I got a shot off, but I, I missed. And I'm actually kind of glad that I missed. It was a clean miss, thank God, thank goodness. Clean miss. Um, the camera died, so we didn't quite get the shot we wanted anyway, so it's a good thing I missed. But we're set up in this tree for this evening hunt. We've got um, a feeder out here in front of us, and I'm really hoping, we stayed in the area, I'm really hoping the buck comes back to this feed this afternoon, and I get another shot. So, let's go. Sorry. That's gonna work. <laughs> We're having some technical difficulties. <laughs>
Okay, so this is day two, evening sit. Um, we're at a new stand and we haven't been here before, so the wind is supposed to be good for the stand tonight and we're hoping to have a decent sized buck come in. We got that doe this morning, which was awesome. So now we're gonna hope our buck comes in and hope that this wind dies down. It's been pretty windy today and the temperature's good. We're not gonna freeze, but we're gonna be battling the wind. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so this evening's hunt was epic. Like, I don't even feel like this is real life right now with all the crazy stuff that happened. Three odd ad rams came in and they were all big. So I got really excited because that's another animal on my hit list. So they took probably about 15 minutes. They're really slow to come into the sand. They just don't walk right in. So it was nerve wracking sitting and waiting for them to get here, but they finally did. I let them get comfortable, take their time, eat, eat and feed. And then one of them just gave me the perfect shot and it was the biggest one in the group. So I hit that one. It was slightly far back, but the height was good. But I got good penetration and we watched him and we think he's not gonna be too far. We were celebrating, getting ready to get out of the stand and we look up and there's a bunch of hogs back at the stand. So I was like, oh crap, grabbed an arrow, knocked an arrow and took a shot at a huge sow, heart shot at her. Actually, this is the arrow probably can't see it because it's getting dark but it was a perfect clean pass through and she's just actually right behind our stand we heard where she went so we got some animals to recover tonight it's been awesome like I said it doesn't even feel like real life um, so stay tuned and hopefully we'll have some footage of some recovered animals well no luck tonight guys um, kind of a rough set kind of rough position in the tree and it, the wind was blowing really hard a little chilly but it was okay um, not a lot of animals came through, no fallow deer, so uh, back to get dinner, back to regroup, new game plan for tomorrow morning, and I am undecided at this point. Do I want to hunt a big axis buck or a big fallow buck? I don't know. I guess you guys will have to keep watching to find out. Yes. 